What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we're back with our second Ruthless Aggression WWE Ultimate Edition review on the Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression WWE Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio figure. Now of course we did review Eddie Guerrero out of this set. We have those two hitting retail on the West Coast apparently. Uh, I'm sure eventually they're going to make their way across, but you guys know with Walmart distribution, you never know man. You're kind of playing roulette there. You never know what you can get yourself into missing out on a figure. So if you find these at retail, you may want to grab them because of how insane Walmart distribution is, but Rey Mysterio here, beautiful looking gear, iconic gear, we have seen this gear before in the entrance greats line from Mattel, but today we are back with an ultimate edition action figure, and it looks good here with the new headdress, and the head sculpts, and the new torso, lots of new stuff going on here with this figure, and it should be fun, but these are Walmart exclusive, so you do need to take advantage of that, I don't know if they're available online or what, but here's the front viewing window with the figure, again, massive headdress, Rey Mysterio, Rey Mysterio there, Ruthless aggression there on the back product shot image of Rey Mysterio there nice details of course Rey Mysterio on the side and at the top you know Rey Mysterio ruthless aggression ultimate edition action figure man that pretty much wraps up our packaging for this figure but I'm excited man because you guys know that Rey Mysterio figures are so damn nice to pose around with we're gonna find out if this ultimate can match his other elites in that category but we won't know unless we crack him out of the packaging and get him out of here man but a huge shout out to my man muscle bro figs for making this review possible for hooking me up with a deal for the Eddie Guerrero and this Rey Mysterio. But nonetheless, man, let's crack these out of the packaging, put them on the rotating base, find out what Rey Mysterio is all about, and see what he's like. So here's our Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio out of the packaging, man. The headdress is so damn big that I can't even fit it on camera. Like, you gotta you gotta get out there, man. It is massive, and it is epic. So that, that's really cool, of course. We've seen something similar with the entrance grates. Apparently, this is a brand new sculpt, though, so that should be very cool as we dive into the accessories, of course. But that's how we always do the reviews, man. We dive into the accessories first, then we take a look at the figure afterwards. However, this figure's not perfect, but how will Rey Mysterio's first Ultimate Edition fare? We, of course, know we have the fan takeover Rey Mysterio that's updated a more current day or modern Rey Mysterio coming soon. We'll probably see it in less than three days at Comic-Con, so we'll have to see about that, but nonetheless, man, let's dive into the accessories, and then we'll look a closer look. A look, a closer look. I mean, what are we doing here? Then we'll take a closer look at Rey himself. Alright, man, so for Rey Mysterio's accessories, I, I mean, you really don't get a lot, right? I mean, there's not a lot going on here. No cloth goods, no championship. It's all in the entrance gear. You only get two pairs of interchangeable hands and two head sculpts, which, two of which I'm pretty sure we've seen before, so I don't know, man. You're not getting a lot of meat on the bone. You're not getting uh, just a freaking deep, deep bucket of stuff going on here. However, you do have some cool things going on, like this badass headdress here, which is rubber material, but it's similar to the Pentagon Supreme and the, you know, the, the Ray Phoenix Supreme figures, kind of, is what this reminds me of. It's got, like, a helmet piece on there, which is cool. And, you know, if you want to plug this in, you know, you just put it on the head sculpt there, and it fits very tight on there. It's very snug and secure. Like, you're not going to be able to knock I'll see myself out. No, but seriously, though, if you put this with the whole body attached, it goes on there very well. Like, you're not going to have any issues whatsoever with this thing. But you have some cool colors and sculpts going on. Apparently, this is not the same one that came with the entrance greats. It's been completely re-sculpted, and you have a lot of cool details going on with this. Certainly not my favorite ever, but it's cool. Next up, we do have the shoulder wrap, which is very cool. I like all the sculpts here as well. Nice colorations going on. I don't even know what you'd call this, so I just called it, like, the chest piece or the torso cover. I don't know what the name for it is, but very cool. We got pink and orange and bronze and silver and black. It looks really good on the figure as well as you guys saw in the opening scene. And then you do have the waist wrap, which pretty much has the exact same patterns on it. You know, I can't really make out any of it or what it is, but it's got nice designs and the same colors and everything. And I think it fits well. You know, I, I didn't have any problems really fastening it to the waist, which is a good sign. And then we get into the head sculpts, and I'm pretty sure he wore like black contacts or something during this match, and it was supposed to be like gold or bronze with the black. And I'm pretty sure we've seen both both of these head sculpts before and if not uh i'm pretty sure they are though like this is the same one they've like i want i can't remember the exact series but i think it was like elite 15 elite 15 i think is when we first saw this head sculpt and then this one was another head sculpt which i can't remember i i couldn't tell you off the top of the dome but i'm pretty sure none of these are new but i guess like they're fair they're fair head sculpts i would have liked to see new ones but they are fair i think they i guess they accomplished the goal but they're not uh they're not going above and beyond and then for interchangeable hands you do get the reaching out smackdown 
down intro style Rey Mysterio hands, which are nice sculpted gloves, you know, we've seen these before with MVP and Rey Mysterio of the past, and they always give him these, it's the fisted hands and the, uh, you know, the reaching out hands, but one thing I wanted to show you guys is this hand is very loose on this right side, look at this right here, man, put this in here, look at that right there, very, very loose on this side. Like, very, very loose. And then on this side, it's it's loose, but it's not as loose as this one over here. This one over here, like, you barely even breathe on it, and it's going to move. So that's kind of freaking annoying. But that's it for Rey Mysterio's accessories. So getting into Rey Mysterio at the top of the head sculpt, man, I don't like the head sculpt. Uh, I've seen this movie before, Brad. And if the head sculpt was just astonishing, I wouldn't care, you know? And that's kind of where I sit. Like, if a head sculpt is just beyond incredible, and they use it two or three times in a row, I'm like, you know what, bro? I I'll take it. If they put the Defining Moments Cody Rhodes head sculpt on every Cody Rhodes Elite they've released so far, which they didn't, which pissed me off, I would like... I would celebrate that. Not even a thing. But then you have this head sculpt, which has been around for, like, a decade, and I want to throw it off a bridge. But you do have the mask colors going on there. We do have this brand new Rey Mysterio, Mysterio torso. I guess I was trying to say torso. It's a Tirso. It's Rey Mysterio. And looking at the new Rey Mysterio Tirso. Nice tattoo details going on here. I love the way the sculpt looks. It does a really good job of capturing the, the body likeness of Rey Mysterio. Almost looks like the Sin Cara torso right here in the upper tits. And then you do have the gauntlets on there in the white and black. You have Rey on his belt there in the white and black as well. And then you have pretty much all his gears back then, man, was this logo in, in whatever color. And then 619 down this side in whatever color. And that's what we get going on here with the the black and the gold and the white which look good and then i really love the boots here or the shoes i think he was wearing some adidas or something like that on this night but they do have the toe pivot in there i, I love all the unique sculpts we're getting in the toe articulation department and boot department because of the ultimate editions having to have it new newly tooled feet every time unless you know it's like batista and brock lesnar or standard boots like triple h things like that now for this figure's articulation i mean it can do all the things man you have the double jointed knees you do have the drop down hips which i don't know how long those will last I know, like, I have mixed opinions about it, much like everybody else. Could probably be a whole video topic, to be honest with you. But you're getting a lot of good stuff going on with this figure. Diaphragm, ab crunch isn't the best. Tight waist, great split here for Rey Mysterio. Look at that ugliness with the drop-down hips. I think they probably need to look, investigate into like SH figure arts. I know their legs would look weird at certain angles. You do have the thigh swivel, by the way. A nice ankle rocker on here as well. And then he does have the toe pivot down there. But look into the DBZ SH figure arts line. And I think that's kind of where we need to shift to as far as, like they used to do drop down hips back in like 2014, 2015. And then they got away from it and went into a new way of doing things. So maybe Mattel could do the same thing. Even though I know SH figure arts, their, their line is more high end. But let's take a look at some Rey Mysterio figure comparison. Comparisons. So for your Rey Mysterio figure comparisons, guys, this is every Rey Mysterio that we've seen with the same crotch and leg mold, pretty much. All of these figures have the same leg mold and crotch piece, for the most part. And this head sculpt originated, I don't know when it originated, but you see it on this SummerSlam Elite over here. You see it on this Ruthless Aggression Elite. We've got it on Countless Basics. So it wasn't Elite 15. This is actually the Elite 15 one. But we've seen it multiple times, man. And also, it's worth noting that Rey Mysterio, these old Rey Mysterios, use the Sin Cara Torso, which is probably why this looks so similar to this. You guys can see how they've kind of translated it from Elite to Ultimate, which is what they should do instead of giving yourselves an Eddie Guerrero treatment. You know, things like that. Compare the Elite and then transition it to the Ultimate. Cody Rhodes, same thing. Should have had the Seth Rollins Ultimate Torso. Randy Orton's got a weird Ultimate Torso. Hopefully that arrives today and I can get a review up of that figure because that one's very interesting. But it is cool to see all these rays up next to each other. You know, just breaking it down, looking across the board here up next to all these different rays. And again, this is not the last Ray we will see and I only wanted to compare it to the ones that are on the same similar leg mold because you guys know as well as I do these flashback Ray Mysterios or the the early on Ray Mysterios while they look good aesthetically like they really do these legs were abysmal and they upgraded them and made them way more poseable when they upgraded this body mold but Ray Mysterio man he's got a rival John Cena Undertaker guys like that for most elites ever he certainly has the most Mattel figures ever right him and John Cena gotta be up there and then for our ultimate edition figure comparison we do do have the Ruthless Aggression Series 1 Ultimates here with Rey Mysterio and Eddie Guerrero. And I think if I had to pick, I would pick Eddie Guerrero. I just think overall I like the figure more, but that could change back to back, you know. I think I can 
and say that. I think I'd, I'm taking Eddie Guerrero. I think he can cover up the flaws with the shirt, and uh, I just, I like these head sculpts more than that. You get a championship, you get cloth goods. Really wish a world title would have came with this Ray, but you know, that's besides the point. Actually, I gotta grab a world title and showcase what this figure looks like with that world title. So here's the championship, and then here is Little Kid Dominic, which, you know, head sculpt's not the greatest, and I'm pretty sure he was bigger than that in this specific instance when he won this world title. I think there's even an image of them online somewhere, but there you go. You got dad and son, and then a strange dad. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Rey Mysterio Ultimate Edition Ruthless Aggression Action Figure Review, man. Also Walmart exclusive. Don't forget that. It, it is Walmart exclusive, man. So I don't have a promo code at Walmart.com. I apologize. Hey, you know, lights are too bright for me, Brad, you know. Nonetheless, I do enjoy this Rey Mysterio. The one thing that upsets me is the hand loosageness. I don't know why they're so damn loose. I'm not big on these head sculpts. You know, they're pretty much like the old school Rey Mysterio head sculpts. If you told me that these were brand new, I couldn't tell that they're brand new. I like the gear a lot. I love the moment. I know it's supposed to be from his entrance at WrestleMania 22, so that's why it doesn't come with the World Heavyweight Championship, but I like a lot of the things going on with this figure. I wish that he had some glove detail, like the red colors that he's supposed to have and stuff like that, but overall, I do like the figure. I like that we have a throwback Rey Mysterio, you know, that's not going to be the last one for sure. It's not the first, won't be the last. There's going to be tons and tons of Rays coming soon, but if I had to pick between Rey's Ultimate and Eddie Guerrero's Ultimate... Ooh, this would be tough because the Eddie Guerrero had so many weird things going on. And I do like the posability of this Ray. I think I'd go with Eddie Guerrero just because of the cloth good shirt and that being able to hide a lot of the weaknesses of that figure. And this figure doesn't have near the bugaboos that that figure has. But I don't really like these head sculpts on this figure. I don't know, man. You can let me know all those things down in the comment section below. But I do look forward to having a modern Rey Mysterio. I bet the modern Rey Mysterio Ultimate is going to be damn nice. With all his tattoos and all that stuff, man, it should be really sweet. Hope to God it's not one of his flashback gears. I hope it is one of his modern gears. Jesus, I don't look forward to the, the results of that vote. The Seth Rollins as well, man. If it's the Shield Seth Rollins, oh, that'll be fun to see in person. I hope I can get my reaction live to that with the panel or something. Nonetheless, that's pretty much going to wrap up this review, man. Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. You guys are the absolute goats. If you guys are interested in becoming patron members, click the link in the description below. Always appreciate your guys' support as always. But that is going to wrap up the video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at My Damn Toys, guys. I will see you guys later. Gearing up for San Diego Comic Con, approaching day by day. Cannot wait for it. But I'm getting out of here, man. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time. We'll never be